What's up everybody? This is Mommy Wata and I am back you all with a channel message. I hope everyone is doing good at this time. Hello to all of my new subscribers. Since you're new to this channel, you may not know what the 411 is over here, but what I like for my subscribers to do is to hit that like button for me and to hit that bell notification button so that they'll be alerted when I post, okay? So that's all that I ask. Thank you for your support in advance, and we're gonna hop right into it, you all. So we're gonna use my IB Knowing Oracle deck. We're gonna freestyle. Let's just see what the Holy Spirit wants us to know at this time. Holy Spirit, what is the message at this time? Let's do one more shuffle. What is the message? Oh. We were shuffling good. Child, let's see here. Holy Spirit, what is the message? Ooh, that flew out. Do my yoga, drink my water, mind my business. I hear that, child, all day, every day, okay? Certified yogi over here. So that's someone's energy right now. Thank you, God. I hear that. Someone is feeling very satisfied with their life, okay? They're not worried about what nobody else got going on. They worried about their own business. They don't worry about their own blessings. Look, nosy, but it was in reverse because this is how I had a day. They ain't worried about nothing nobody got going on, and they're thankful to God for what they're experiencing in their own life, Okay? What else, Holy Spirit? What else do you want us to know or focus on? We have obsessed, but it's in the reverse, okay? And I think that I'm going to keep it in the reverse because that's also giving the same energy as nosy in the reverse. This person is not worried about anyone else's business. Maybe someone thinks that they're obsessed, okay? But this person is focused on their self. And they focused on God, okay? So maybe that's what that's what someone's trying to say. But that's not the case here. What else, Holy Spirit? Anything else? Sexual abuse. Ooh, sexual abuse. So maybe this person ha is going through some type of healing journey that they're not even... Focus on whatever this is that people think that they're focused on with the sexual abuse card here. Maybe there is some sexual abuse that happened that they're not aware about, that people think they're aware about. Something here. Clarify this sexual abuse, Holy Spirit. Clarify the sexual abuse card, Holy Spirit. We have black magic. And we have legos water or lake and this is a room okay so we're gonna stop here we're gonna stop here we have do my yoga drink my water mind my business thank you god obsessed sexual abuse black magic water and lake all right y'all we about to see what the holy spirit talking about because i didn't picked up on like three things but i'm gonna shut up that's my new vibe look what was on the bottom before the deck out the box the ace of swords is on the bottom so somebody don't know what's going on about something, okay? Somebody is in their own bubble, and I'm picking up that something that they predicted, something that they said has come to pass, but they have no idea about it. So we're going to see here what's going on here. Holy Spirit, what is the message at this time? What is it that you would like for us to know about these oracle messages from the universe? We have the Six of Cups, and we have the King of Cups here, and we have the Nine of Wands. 
So this person that we're talking about here, this person is going through a spiritual journey, journey, a healing journey. They have re recently realized or remembered some things that occurred in their past. Okay, and they're trying to release their burdens. Okay, I feel like this obsessed in the reverse is this nine of wands energy that they were in about whatever they realized about this king of cups. This king of cups is giving some type of father figure or adult that was in their life as a child with the six of cups. And they are remembering things that occurred with this person. Okay. They are remembering sexual abuse. It at one point had them really torn up on the inside and the outside. It was starting to take over their life. It was becoming an obsession, recalling these memories about what happened to them. With this hermit card here, this may be a queen of swords that we're talking about here, okay? This queen of swords is trying to heal right now from these past memories, these childhood memories, this abuse that she experienced at the hand of this king of cups. And this could be her father here. So she's trying to release this trauma, maybe by doing yoga. Yoga is a way to release trauma, okay? She's not worried about what anybody else got going on right now. She drinking her water. She trying to heal herself. She may be detoxing either. She's going through some type of spiritual catharsis here. And she is leaning on God the entire way. Maybe this woman had a past with black magic. I'm picking up a lot, y'all. I feel like when she was in this traumatic, low vibing state as a result of her sexual abuse, that she did dabble in some things that brought more grief to her life. Clarify that, Holy Spirit. We have the lovers. She may have dabbled in black magic to get a lover or keep a lover by her side to be someone's love choice. But that may stem from the trauma she experienced from being sexually abused by her father. Okay? You know, she was her father's love choice, and that's low-key, high-key, all keys, very sick. But that's what's, what I'm seeing, and that's what's out here. And she wanted to be a, the love choice of somebody in particular in her future. And she may have resorted to this black mat. We have judgment. She made a decision to use black magic to secure a love choice in the, in the past. Okay, and that's an, that's an obsession in itself to want to manipulate someone to get their love, to receive their love. But I feel like she's trying to release that. Yeah, because see, that didn't work out in her favor. This action that she took, this decision she made, it didn't work out here. Okay, the cherry is coming out in the reverse. So... We have the fool. Something was revealed. Something happened as a result of this risk that she took. This emotional state that she was in that led to her led her to do this black magic here. But it backfired on her. And I feel like that's why she's in this hermit mode now. She's trying to heal herself. We have the nine of cups. She wants to be happy again or be happy in general. I'm not picking up that this woman ever really experienced happiness because since childhood, she's been a victim of this king of cups, but she's trying to get there now, okay? You know, everybody got a past. Everybody got shit they deal with. Everybody has done shit, okay? So ain't nobody judging this queen of swords because she's actually trying to do better, y'all. She's trying to heal. She's trying to move forward. And the Holy Spirit is encouraging you to continue to move forward. Because if you continue to take these risks in a positive direction, you are going to have happiness. You're going to be satisfied with your results. 
and you will have a Ten of Pentacles partnership with somebody, okay? You don't have to do any type of trickery or scheming to get it. That's what I'm getting here. What else, Holy Spirit? Yep. Putting an end to karmic cycles in your life, okay, is going to cause new beginnings, new doors to open up for you. And she's realized this, okay? What else, Holy Spirit? What else would you like for us to know? We have the Eight of Pentacles. This woman is working on herself, okay? And maybe it's been... Clarify that. I'm hearing that she, she wants to know if she's making progress. We got four cards came out here, child. Yes, honey, you making progress, poo poo. Okay, this spiritual prison that you were you were trapped in is coming to an end. Okay, this trauma that had you wrapped in in low vibing behavior had you even doing things that you knew were not right with this black magic here. That's coming to an end. You have decided to move forward in a positive way. And I feel like you are going to receive an offer. It's something about, to me, what I'm picking up, especially off of this Ten of Pentacles partnership and now with this Knight of Cups, it's something about when you finish doing the work, when you fully heal from this sexual abuse, okay, and how it has had you down in the dumps and had you doing some things you didn't want to do. When you finally move forward completely from that, you are going to receive the offer that you deserve because I feel like the universe will have all the all of the evidence, okay? The universe is watching you. God is watching you. God is watching you try to make strides to be better and to, he to heal spiritual confirmation, okay? And I'm, I'm picking up that you know, if, if you get through it, if you put this to rest for good, if you can heal from this, if you can release this so that you can receive what you're supposed to get to, blah, 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 blah. <laughs> okay, if you can put this to rest and receive what you're supposed to have, you will get an Ace of Pentacles. Your life will be enhanced in such a way that all of this dark energy will be left behind for good, okay? You will be able to move on to calmer waters. That old you will be dead, honey, okay? I'm getting that. And you're going to emerge as a queen of cups who's going to experience a beautiful beginning in her life, okay? I'm hearing that you're going to leave that old you behind. You're, that's what you're doing now. You're leaving the old you behind. The old you will be dead and you will emerge as this, this loving, nurturing, healed woman who is in control of her emotions and who is moving towards a positive future in her life. Okay? Now, I was picking up on something here, back here that there's something going on that you don't know about because you're in your own bubble trying to heal from your own shit. But there's something going on here that you're not aware of. There's a tower, okay? Something was balanced that you don't know about. So we're going to get some energy on that because I'm hearing that here. I'm hearing that you're in the dark about something that was revealed and it has something to do with you and it has something to do with this King of Cups energy as well. So Holy Spirit, what further clarification do you want us to have regarding this situation? What is the message here, Holy Spirit? What is it that this... Queen of Cups, Queen of Swords energy needs to know what has occurred that she's not aware about. Something happened. I'm picking that up. I was picking, and it's almost with this thank you, God. When you find out whatever happened, you're going to be like, thank you, God. Thank you, God, for keeping me away from whatever that was. And I cut the deck on the Ace of Swords. I'm trying to tell you, 
you're going to be glad. And it's something to do, I feel like, with this love choice that you were obsessing about at some point. Okay? So, Holy Spirit, what is it that you want, this Queen of Swords, this person in my collective who tapped in? Look what came out, child. I'm trying to tell you, this Queen of Swords, you tapped in, baby. What do you want her to know at this time? What what else, Holy Spirit? What do you want her to know about this love choice from her past? We have the Two of Cups. What else, Holy Spirit? We have the Hermit. This person, we have the Hermit to the Six of Wands. This person did something. Clarify, Holy Spirit. We have the moon. Something that this person that you were obsessed about and wanted to be with so hard at one point, this person got exposed for doing something. Something that they were doing behind the scenes with this hermit energy to the six of wands, to the moon card. They asked God exposed for doing something. What was it, Holy Spirit? So, so I think God is trying to let you know that even we have the king of wands. And we have the Ten of Cups. Okay, and we have Justice. So I'm going to tell y'all what I'm picking up. And this is not for the faint at heart. And we have the Ace of Wands. And we have the King of Cups. And we have the Seven of Cups. And we have the Four of Swords. And we have the Devil. So I'm finna stop. Okay. What I'm picking up. And the cards are confirming it. That this masculine that you at one point were obsessed about and even did black magic to be with this man has sexually abused one of his own children okay and he has been exposed for doing this you don't know that this man has been exposed for sexual abuse but this may be why god is just proud that you're releasing this now okay that you're moving forward away from this energy, that you're healing from your own trauma as a child from your father, because this man that you were that you were gravitating towards, that you wanted to be with, has done the same thing to his child. And with this justice card, this King of Wands justice, it's so many, but the way this fell, you can rewind it back, y'all, if you need to see how it fell, because it's just too much to call back out. Okay, but these people have been in some kind of family court. This man has been in court about something and in court, it was exposed something about sexual abuse here, some type of passionate behavior that this King of Cups was involved in regarding his child. Some Something has been exposed. Some shit that he was doing was exposed here with this Seven of Cups to the four swords, to the devil. And his toxic behavior is being led to, laid to rest here. Clarify that, Holy Spirit. This rough right here, child. We have the strength card. I'm telling you. So, just know that God was saving you. Even though, even though you were not able to be with this man, First of all, you weren't supposed to be with him no way. That's number one. Because anybody that you got to feel like you got to do black magic to get to be with you, you do not need to be with them because you don't need to be doing no black magic, period. And you definitely don't need to be doing no black magic to get nobody to love and be with you. That's why that didn't work out. Okay? But God is, is asking you to continue to release whatever emotion you have for this man because it's tied to your trauma. The reason why you are attracted to this man because is because he 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 spiritually was reminding you of your father. Okay? Of the trauma you experienced as a child yourself. And you do not know cuz you like I said, you in your own hermit mode bubble trying to heal from everything you didn't been through. But this man that you was trying to be with has been accused of sexual abuse against his child, honey. I'm trying to tell you now. In family court. 
Anything else? Clarify. I'm trying. Something has ex been exposed about a child in this King of Cups. Okay? Fuck what you heard. Okay? This child may be a Leo. We got the strength and the sun back to back, but something was exposed. Look, that was being done to this child. Something very devilish and toxic. This almost reminds me of a child laying curled up on a bed, child. Something was exposed about what this man was doing with his child or a child, okay? Some form of sexual abuse. So thank God that you didn't end up with some type of fucking predator that was mirroring your father's behavior in the past. And thank God that you are healing from this now. Thank God that you have sought a higher power to help you get through this trauma, to help you recover and end how you feel about what happened to you so that you can experience a rebirth, so that you can have an Ace of Cups in your life, a true love, that you ain't got to do no spell work, no manipulation to get or have because you wasn't supposed to have that man no way because he wasn't no good. He He's a replica of your father, okay? Any final messages here, Holy Spirit? We have the world. So thank God that that came to an end. Thank God that it did not work out how you wanted it to work out. Thank God that that karmic cycle is over in your life and you're now able to do your, your, your yoga, okay? And drink your water and mind your business. Thank God. I'm telling you, that's why this thank you God is out here because can't you imagine if you were with this man right now in a relationship and you found out that he's being sex, being accused of sexual abuse, something that happened to you? Child, you would be a mess with this eight of swords here. You would really be spiritually trapped in some type of depression or prison, mental prison about sleeping with a man who was doing the same thing that was done to you, okay? Any final messages, Holy Spirit? What's, we have the lovers. I'm trying to tell you, imagine if you found that out and you this man had become your love choice. You were in a relationship with him and you find some shit out like that, child. Thank God that you were able to move on to calmer waters that whatever you tried to do to keep him and get him didn't work. And that you were prompted to move on and heal, okay? I think I'm going to drop the mic there. We have the three of pentacles. I'm ch child, these people was in court, child. These people was in court. There go that little girl right there and the mama. There go the judge. Something this girl exposed or said that there, that this King of Cups, and I feel like it's her father, said that she he did something sexual to her child. I'm trying to tell you, honey. And I feel like they on his ass anyway. With this cherry energy, this giving jail vibes to me. Like he might got a warrant pending for his arrest somewhere. So, honey, you don't even know this is going on with this high priestess card. You are unaware of the truth and what's really happening behind the scenes. But the Holy Spirit says that's the truth. Okay? So just be glad. Maybe your healing has triggered a vindication in some way. Justice to be served in another realm. You healing and releasing what happened to you. Because I feel like that's what this rune water, this water rune is about. You releasing, healing. Moving forward and you doing that, I think, has triggered justice for this child, this other young girl who went through the same thing that you did. And the irony of it is it's somebody that you were trying to be with at one point. So just thank God. Continue to say thank you, God. And I'm going to end the message here. I hope this helps someone. I hope it provides you with the insight and guidance that you're looking for. But always remember, if it doesn't apply, let it fly. Take only what resonates and leave the rest. And I'll be back soon with another one. Peace.